Hi, I'm Leila Trainer. I was a member of the Bringing a Lessons Home 2017 class here at the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum, and I'm going to be talking today about some of the photos that I think best represent um, the Holocaust in its entirety. So I think one of the things that is most important to me when I'm taking students or adults, really anyone, through the tour is it's really easy to get lost in the six million number, and it can be really easy to forget the number of individual lives that were touched by the events of the Holocaust. And I think this is one of the photos that really brings that home. In the photo, the woman is named Rosa, and the young boy she's holding is her grandson, Danny. So Rosa arrived at Auschwitz-Birkenau um, with her two daughters, Cecily and Mina, who was Danny's mother. While Rosa was waiting on the selection ramp, she overheard someone saying that mothers with young children and the elderly would both be sent directly to the gas chambers. So she immediately recognized that if her daughter Mina was holding Danny, she would be sent to the gas chambers. Um, Rosa recognized that her fate was sealed, unfortunately, and she went up to Mina and asked for her grandson. She didn't have it in her to tell Mina the heartbreaking truth of why she had to take her grandson. So she said, I heard that older women with children will be spared the hard labor and will get to go be with the children. So Mina, thinking that she was sparing her mother the hardship of going through hard labor, handed her son over uh, to Rosa. And soon after, Rosa was ushered down the ramp to what we now know was the gas chambers. And as she was leaving, she turned around over her shoulder and she called out to one of her daughters, but not to Mina. She called back to Cecily and she said, take care of your sister. And she did that because she knew how hard it would be for Mina once she realized where her infant son and her mother had actually gone. And she was understandably heartbroken when she found out, but both the sisters did survive the war um, in no small part thanks to their mother's enormous sacrifice that she made for them. So I think that's, a really beautiful way to remember the strength and courage of the people who had to make these unthinkable choices. And despite being in the face of all of this horror, um, Rosa never wavered in her love for her family and knew exactly what she needed to do. And I think that's a really beautiful way to remember her. The first time I saw the photo was on um, my first sort of introductory tour when I um, was interested in becoming an ambassador and obviously before we can tour anyone we ourselves need to go through a tour and I had just been given all of this information it's right in the middle of the tour is where this photo is placed and so even I remember thinking after even after all of the things that I've just seen even after all of the information that I've just absorbed that was really the thing that stuck out to me it just was such a heartbreaking story but it was also such a testament to her will and her determination uh, to save her family. And I think there are these choices that are, are asked of people in this horrible situation. And we hear stories like this all the time and it's very easy to forget them. But I think someone should remember what Rosa did for her daughter. And I'm very happy to be that person. <laughs>